So here I am, day two after surgery. Everything's going pretty smoothly, I guess. I don't know. It kind of sucks because I'm a very independent person, so I'm having to rely on my husband to do everything, like literally everything, because you don't really realize how much you use your upper body for, I mean, even pulling your pants up or making coffee was a bit of a bitch today. So <laughs> I'm walking around like this. <clears throat> You know, I can't lift much, and it just feels really um, stiff, kind of like if you work out a lot, that really sore, hurt-so-good feeling mixed with being engorged if, you know, when I was breastfeeding, so those things together. Um, I can only lift my arms a certain, like right here right now. I could go higher, but it just doesn't feel comfortable, so I don't want to chance that. I might be rambling on a bit too much. I just took some pain medicine because it started you know, to bother me a little bit. So if I start to ramble, I'm really sorry. Um, and I'll probably be saying I'm a lot. I went in at 7 in the morning yesterday and filled out some more consent forms. They had me pee in a cup. I don't know. Kind of weird. And take my weight and my blood pressure. And then they, you know, had me dress into those lovely little gowns with the opening in the back and um, you know, gave me some medications for anti-nausea, um, I don't remember what else. And then the anesthesiologist came in and, you know, I signed his consent form and then they hooked up the IV into my hand right here. Ooh, I hate needles, but he was really nice. And then all I can remember after that is, you know, them asking me when my birthday, um, what was it, my birthday and my name and then the next thing I knew I woke up in a completely different room um, and looking at the clock it was like 10 15 so it's like oh god I made it my biggest thing was being put to sleep um, I've been put under before for my wisdom teeth and you know I haven't been completely put under before but um, you know I've had an anesthesiologist for c-section and you know having babies and stuff but as far as like going under for a surgery like this, I was terrified. I wanted to wake up. And when I did, I was like, oh, thank God, it's all over. Um, I, I started to feel pretty, not terrible, but achy. And so they went ahead and gave me some medicine there. And then once I felt good enough, they wanted to get me to get home so I can walk it off and, you know, rest in the comfort of my own home. So it sucked on the ride home. My husband, you know, was very careful to drive because every little bump would seriously hurt my chest like no other. So I've been walking like an old lady, you know, kind of like hunched over a little bit. I'm trying to straighten up, but with my shoulders, I feel like I'm constantly like clenching them upwards because it's it's easier so I don't feel so much, but I don't want to get stuck in the habit of that. So I've been trying to like loosen them up and walk normal. My husband's been so amazing. He's been taking care of me and I can't even sit up in bed by myself or, or, you know, stand up by myself. I'm getting better at it, but, you know, he's literally been helping me with everything. So I get to take a shower um, today, which will be nice. Um, so far, I, I have what the, they supplied me with, and here's the band. And this stays on top to push the implant down so it drops and won't sit so high. Um, so I have to wear this, I think, from now until five weeks after I don't know we'll have to see what the doctor says and then a little fasten forward bra um, as for sizes I was gonna go to 421 CC we discussed how big I wanted to be at the pre-op and sizing appointment and I wanted to be natural I didn't want to look like I had my boobs done and I just needed to fix everything that was deflated so we went with 421. Unfortunately, well not unfortunately, when I talked to him before he wheeled me in for surgery, he was like, if we can't fit in 421 on your tiny frame, then we'll try, you know, between 350 and 421 to see how that works. And then he brought an extra smaller one just in case, because he was trying to get me to be as natural as I could too, which I absolutely love him for that, because, you know, most of the time plastic surgeons don't care how big you go. They won't give you an honest opinion. They just want you to spend money, you know, but he actually cared. So anyways, the 421 didn't fit. I'm just, my chest is too small. I'm too little. So we went with 391. And honestly, so far, even though it is swelled a little bit, it looks exactly like they used to. 
Um, so I cannot wait till the swelling goes down to see it. Um, they're not sore to touch or anything. They're a little hard, but it's really not that sore. The only sore places I have are probably right where the incision is and over to the side a little bit where the muscle is. Um, other than that, I'm really not that bad. It's the only reason I took medicine today is because it was stiff and starting to get uncomfortable. Um, so I needed to relax a little bit so I wouldn't stress myself out and stuff. So that's that. I have my next appointment on Monday just to see how it goes. And I'll do progression as I go too. So you'll see a couple more videos and some before and after pictures as I go along probably. Um, I'm not really too sure yet. I feel weird taking pictures of my chest and putting them on, on, on the computer. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just feel weird. So that is my update. Thank you guys so much for all of you guys who texted me, tweeted me, um, even wished me good luck. You guys are all amazing, seriously. And it made me feel so wonderful that all you guys cared enough to do so. Um, I'll do a video in the next couple of days. Someone just texted me. And... <laughs> That way I can, like I said, show you my progress. And I'll probably try to get out another non-surgery video that I need to do that things I suck at video. So I'll try to do that. Um, see you guys all soon. Bye. So I really apologize for the makeup. Look how... <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. This is the first time I've worn makeup since the surgery. And honestly, you don't have no idea how hard it is to do the littlest things like freaking eyeliner. Or like mascara and eyeshadow. So I didn't really, um, I don't even know what it's called right now. Blend. I didn't really blend. Very good. Um, I did my best. I don't care. I probably look a little cray cray. You know, the medicine kicked in. So I'm like, so if I start going and ranting off about random things, I apologize. I just wanted to get a video out to you guys. And I was really not in any shape yesterday to do it. So, why not wait until the second day? Because the second day is a little bit better than the first, but not really. I don't know. I, I feel fine. I'll just leave these off. No, I'm going to put these back on. My eyes look so drugged right now. <laughs> Alright. I went in at 7 in the morning and had to fill out smart paperwork and consent forms. And then, <laughs> I don't know why, but they made me pee in a cup. And um, that was kind of weird. Here, pee in a cup. I took my weight and my blood pressure. And then they hooked up all the IV stuff in my hand. You can see. But it was cool because they put some um, linocaine on there. So I couldn't really feel the IV. I don't really like needles. I like hate fucking needles. And I'm totally going off subject right now. So, um, anyways, I went in at 7. I had surgery or got wheeled back at 8. Which my husband was allowed to be with me while they were putting in the IV, but as soon as I passed out, it was when it was time to go. So, um, yeah. Like, like I said, I just woke up at 10. I don't even know. I'm like, I feel like I'm rambling, so I'm gonna try this all again. Okay? <laughs>